Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the defrost thermostat in an Amana refrigerator. It's going to be an easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, a flat blade screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a pair of wire strippers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new defrost thermostat and a couple of connectors. The defrost thermostat cuts off the power to the defrost heater if the temperature inside the evaporator rises above the safe limit. The main reason why it would need to be replaced is if it burns out or shorts out, causing the refrigerator to stop cooling. Open the freezer door all the way. Lift the door off the slides and remove it from the freezer. Pull out and remove the top freezer basket. Slide the support shaft to the right inside the long gear and then remove it completely. Pull out the left slider. Locate the locking tab, press it in and pull out the left slider completely. Using the quarter inch nut driver, take out the four screws and remove the adapter. Repeat the procedure and remove the right side slider and the adapter. Now get yourself comfortable inside the freezer, press the tabs and disconnect the ice maker plug. Using the quarter inch nut driver, remove the bottom and the top right ice maker support screws. And then loosen up the top left one. See if there's any cold water inside to avoid a cold shower and then remove the ice maker. Insert the flat blade screwdriver in the bottom hole in the air grill and slightly push up the locking tab. Be careful or you may break it. Insert the flat blade screwdriver into the top right side opening in the grill and push it to open the locking tab. Then repeat the procedure on the opposite side and remove the air grill. Insert the flat blade screwdriver into the opening in the thermistor cover grill. Push it to open the locking tab and remove the cover. Remove the thermistor from the cover. Use the needle nose pliers to release the tabs and push in the plug. Using the quarter inch nut driver, take out four screws that hold the evaporator cover. Remove the cover. Locate the defrost thermostat clipped on the copper tube. Remove the old thermostat from the tube. Using the wire strippers, cut the orange and the brown wires near the thermostat. Strip a quarter inch of the insulation from the wires. This is the old defrost thermostat next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Crawl back into the freezer and try to be comfortable. Twist the corresponding wires together, place the connectors on and squeeze them with the wire strippers.
clip the thermostat onto the copper tube. Bring in the evaporator cover and clip on the ice maker power plug. Place the thermistor outside the cover. Fish out the inlet tube through the hole and install the cover. Secure the cover with the four quarter inch screws. Clip the thermistor onto the cover grill, place the tabs into the slots and push the grill to lock it. Place the air grill over the opening and push it in to lock the tabs. And now the ice maker. Insert the inlet tube into the opening at the rear of the ice maker, hang it on the one screw that we left in, and secure the ice maker with bottom and the top rear quarter inch screws. Tighten the top front screw. Plug it in. Install the left side adapter and secure it with the four screws using a quarter inch nut driver. And insert the slider. Do the same for the other side. Pull the slides out all the way and install the support shaft by sliding it into the long gear first and then into the short gear. Install the freezer top shelf. Install the freezer drawer. Lock the front tabs into the slots. Lower the drawer and lock the rear tabs into the slots. Close the freezer door and check if it fits properly. Plug the fridge in and enjoy your cold drinks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.